Namo Buddhaya, this is Apinav Kulecha and I welcome you in this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about what Buddha's advice is on uh, when someone gets angry with us, right? So what happens when someone gets angry with us? It uh, 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 activates whatever our latent tendencies of anger. So we also get triggered, we also get angry, right? This is our natural tendency. So here what Buddha is advising us, let us discuss that. This is from the Link Discourses 7.2. Uh, and the link discourses 11.4 the links for these discourses are given in the description you can read the full discourses there so here let's understand by way of a, a story an actual incident where there was one uh, brahman who abused the buddha with rude harsh words so buddha said that uh, what do you think brahman do friends colleagues relatives and family members they come to visit you they said yes they come to visit me then do you serve them with fresh and cooked vegetables and uh, foods and savouries? So he said, yes, sometimes I do. Uh, so Buddha asked that Brahmin, if they don't accept it, Brahmin, who does it belong to? So that Brahmin said, in that case, it still belongs to me. If the other person doesn't take my, what, my offering, then it will belong to me. So hear this, Buddha says, in the same way, Brahmin, when you abuse, harass and attack us and we don't accept it, it still belongs to you, Brahmin. It still belongs to you. Buddha says, Someone who when abused, harassed and attacked, abuses, harasses and attacks in return, is said to eat the food and have a reaction to it. But we neither eat your food, nor do we have a reaction to it. It still belongs to you, Brahmin. It still belongs to you. So how beautifully Buddha is saying that if some, someone angers us and you know attacks us or angers us, upon us and we do not take an anger on ourselves we do not accept his offering then we will not have the reaction right what happens is when we take then that particular food in us right it is like when someone angers us and we get triggered and we also get angry it's like we have eaten the food that the other person has offered us and then that causes a reaction in us so what my understanding here is that try we can try like even one person in our daily life that if other person you know, gets angry and everything on us, we can be mindful. When we are mindful, right? when we are aware, when we can be mindful of our body or our breath, at that time of the anger, we are guarding our mind to not let our the seeds of anger in us sprout. right? We can be mindful and calm and that's the best thing for both of us, the, the person who is getting angry and for us. right? So Buddha says further, uh, a couple of verses, for one free from anger, tamed, living in balance, freed by right knowledge, a poised one who is at peace, where would anger come from? That means Buddha is saying, the one who is freed from anger, the f who is in knowledge, right? Where would, in that person the anger would not come, right? Buddha says further, when you get angry at an angry person, you just make things worse for yourself. Very, very important. We, when we get angry because the other person gets angry on us, we create problems for ourselves because you know for a body for a person to get angry there are a lot of biochemical reactions have to start in the body to make us angry which harm us so buddha says when you don't get angry at an angry person you win a battle hard to win right this is what our task is this is what our aim is as students on the buddha's path this is what our aim is that slow by slow when we get triggered into these things, we don't, you know, just, you know, get sucked into that anger of the other person, right? And we, if we don't get sucked into that anger, we win a battle that is hard to win, right? Hard to win battle. So Buddha further says, when you know that the other is angry, you act for the good of both yourself and the other, if you are mindful and stay calm. So if I stay calm and mindful, in the middle of the angry situation, I am not only benefiting myself but also that other person. Right? Now, Buddha further says, People unfamiliar with the teaching consider one who heals both oneself and the other to be a fool. That means the people, so around the, the, that person, so people who, are, who think that, you know, this person is mindful and calm but he's basically, he is weak person, right? Because he is not responding. They are fools. Right? So we don't have to, you know, go by, you know, the, the fools, right? And what they will think about us. 
we have to think about what we have to do right we have to stay calm in those situations not let drawn into that anger be mindful by that way we are helping not ourselves but that other person and we are winning a a a, a milestone it's like a milestone on our spiritual path when we stop getting triggered by the other people right so uh, so these were the points so just to summarize these uh, this particular uh, thing uh, the teaching of the buddha one is don't get back angry stay calm uh, when you do that you are acting for the good of both don't accept their abuse or insult if someone abuse or insult if we don't take them then this is theirs right always keep that in mind right so third let the other person take you as a fool let them take anyone else take us so we can it's not submission it's not being like a pla- uh, you know placid you know kind of a uh, uh, or a submissive kind of a person we don't become that we do with a balanced mind whatever response we have to go give we do it with a balanced mind rather than from a reactive angry mind right this reactive tendencies has kept us in this cycle of suffering so now we give the response that this is now how this is you are portraying this is how even in office situations in work place you know it very it is very very important especially you know as you reach in higher levels of your workplace and all how how much you can maintain your calm demeanor in difficult situations that counts a lot right so and buddha further says in the link discourses 11.4 buddha says that see a, a weak person can always remain calm but a strong person remaining calm is is counts much more right so that is also one more thing right so this is it i hope this is a short video that i made on this particular thing i hope it gave you some insights uh, into our practice of uh, remaining calm in the middle of the storm and um, do share your comments and your thoughts uh, in the comment section below uh, thanks for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye